known for his role as the card-carrying sleight-of-hand expert in WandaVision, and the North Korean dictator in the interview, the former Fresh Off the Boat star Randall Park is an award-nominated Critics' Choice and Best Actor since 2016. He gained popularity in 2012 as Steve, a prank replacement of Jim Hoppert in an episode of The Office. But the most historic role Park was involved in was his contribution to Fresh Off the Boat, alongside Constance Wu, and a Netflix movie, Always Be My Maybe, alongside Ali Wong, with whom he actually co-written the script with. What most people don't realize is that Randall Park attended UCLA, where he majored in creative writing and attained his master's in Asian American studies. So he pretty much has a grounded understanding on issues of identity and representation. After all, he also co-founded UCLA's Asian American Theater Group, known as LCC, which stands for Lapu, the Coyote That Cares. The company's mission is to help provide an Asian American voice in an industry that was sorely lacking in diversity. When being asked to play the title character in Fresh Off the Boat, Park was hesitant. He didn't feel that he was appropriate for the role. He initially preferred someone who was of Taiwanese or Chinese descent. Park was Korean and felt that his experience did not match those of a different Asian race. On the flip side, when Park was being asked to play the North Korean dictator in the interview, his parents were thrilled and encouraged him to take the role. For Park, his experience with Fresh Off the Boat and Always Be My Maybe was unique to him, and felt it was important to finally create history for television. But it was only a stepping stone, and he feels that there is still so much more ground to break. In the landscape of Asian American actors representing themselves or expressing their experiences in media. <laughs> <laughs>